Hey, Caners Worldwide, Joe Rubina here for American Cane Self-Defense. Let's discuss practicing for strike and defend zones. Those of you that follow us, uh, follow the American Cane Self-Defense system, you know that we operate on a 12 strike and defend zone template. And some of what I'm seeing out there, we gotta be very clear as to the purpose of the training of what it is you're doing and how it applies. One thing is for me to be training with a partner where we're doing, it's part of what we refer to in ACSD as cane play. It's a, a component of a combative cane spinning where I have my partner and we are just matching and reflexively uh, dancing and moving around in here and having fun with the cane. It's a two person dance. That's one thing. See, I can use one hand or two, but when you're practicing to take an incoming attack, first of all, that tool that you're putting between you and the incoming attack better be by design. You better have chosen wisely because you're trusting this to withstand that impact. This is what I don't want to see. And I, and, and I see it. Um, people are pointing, uh, pointing out to me, so if I'm doing this, why would I ever, um, if somebody's coming two hands, two hands, baseball bat, boom, just put one here, the only reason I do that is if my other hand is occupied, but if not, don't do that because it will hit the cane and that cane can, this is one hand out here away from your center, not the, tell me if you, if this seems where you're going here and then there's this and then there, right? So keep the form, keep this to your center, right? Whenever possible, you see that strike coming in and definitely in training. That's how we're going to train with this, right? So I'm going to get perpendicular with that and I'm going to put my hand, not this way, not this way, because what ends up happening is slow. When that comes, that will hit your fingers. It'll hit your hands. How do we know? Because we've tested it. We know what happens. So instead of engaging here to do strike and defend zones, align yourself properly it comes from the other side shift and meet that tool you want to do that because you want to see what it feels like when somebody really takes that tool with the in intention of striking go slow safety always first but practice that properly as opposed to standing out here and going with one hand and it doesn't matter to me whether you're standing you're sitting in a wheelchair it, it, that's irrelevant um, the body mechanics, that doesn't change. I'm still lined up perpendicular to that. That's number one. The other thing is be honest. You need to have two things, honesty in the strike and proper distance. That means that if my partner is here and we'll take a shot uh, down uh, to the knee, uh, what we see a lot, what we see one hand only, this is what we see a lot. So I just go with one hand and I'm, I'm, do, I'm going here and I'm gonna go to the top. That's called, uh, I, I, ca I call that patty cake. You're just pitter patter, you're striking to where their cane is and not to where the anatomy is. So if it's a strike to the temporal region, I have to go there and it's her job to put up the tool. So to that end, you have drones, padded canes for safety. So now when I strike, I do go here to that, not to the cane, to, to that area. It's okay to pad up. If I go down, I go to the knee, but look at the difference in this. I, I don't strike up here, right? Because that's not where the knee is. It's down there. And it's her job to move from there. And, and again, two hands. So in a broom sweep, when she comes to my knee or mine, and boom, there it is. I use them both. You have to have that first before we can even have a conversation about countering. What's gonna happen a lot of times is you're gonna see that when she does this, if this is not strong enough, it'll hit the cane and then it'll hit your leg and it'll go right through. And so that, that starts giving you a feel for what it actually takes to deflect or block that. And our tw um, 12 strike in the fence zones, they all have counters. So then you can worry about ah, boom, coming right down with those two hands, which are essentially a number five strike in our power shot system. So that starts giving you insights as to how to start training with this tool. If you're gonna practice 12 strike and defend zones or uh, really to feel that incoming attack, get your mechanics behind that. Use both hands. Make a fist behind there so it doesn't, don't, don't put your hand on there. Find another way, hide it in there, right? But really make it useful, practical, and tactical. 
That's it. You know how to get a hold of us. My uh, staff and I are here to serve. We're at 800 289 Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything. And all the training happens at CaneSelfDefenseUniversity.com. All the information as well at AmericanCaneSelfDefense.com. I'm Joe Rubino for American Cane Self-Defense. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and keep caning.